All right, so we we saw the graph of the we talked about this a little bit before. We saw the graph of the old one where the water comes in, it falls all the way to the bottom, like to the table, and it starts to fill up from there, right? But then if we turn the water at the same time in this new one, it starts right there, right? It hits at the you know at the same time that this is hitting the bottom, this is hitting right here. So what do we say is different about the two graphs? One's higher off the ground. That's the that little, little line right there. Is that the, so the graph? Yeah. You're so talking about the cup, but what about the graph? It's like, if the old one goes straight across, then okay, that so one would go. We have that kind of established. It looks straight, just like this, constant. The height is constantly changing at the same rate. But then this one. The new one would be a little higher than that one. What's the same about it? Something's the same. Area. Same area. Still still straight. Still straight, but all lines are okay. I mean, yeah, parallel. straight. Okay, parallel. Okay. Right. They're filling up at the same rate. The height is changing at the same rate. Okay. Or. So they go. Up, they're they're filling up at the same rate. The height is changing at the same rate. Right. If in uh, in one second the water on this one goes from here to there, well, this one's going to go from here not not to here, right? But it's going to go up just as much, just from the bottom of that cup. Does that make sense? Yes. The height is going to increase, but over the same amount of time, this one is going to be higher than this one. Okay. That all make sense. All right. Uh, so we said this, right? Mm -hmm. no reason, right? It starts out higher on the y-axis. So we're going to translate what we've learned about rates, okay, rates. And here, we were talking about the rate that the height increases, the rate that the height goes up. And we're going to use that, we're going to translate that into equations and So let's try this, some, some numerical, uh, specific numbers plugged in here. Can you write an equation that will, you know, like y equals something, that will tell me what the height is after x seconds? Right, after x seconds. Could you write an equation that if I plugged in x, like I plugged in 5 seconds, it would tell me how high the water is, what level the water is at. <laughs> Who thinks that they could throw that out there? Uh, an equation that would tell us how high the water is after x seconds. Kaden? Um, y equals 2 times x. 2 times x. Is that it? Plus 7. Plus seven. Why plus 7? Because 7 is already gone. Yeah, it already, like at the very instant that it hits the bottom of the cup, it's already at seven inches high, right? At zero seconds, it's seven inches high. Okay. Who agrees with Caden? Okay, can we test it? To see if it seems to make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay, how can we test it a little bit and see if it makes sense? Test it against their position. Plug something in? Yeah. See if it makes sense. All right, so what can we plug in? Zero. 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 Two times zero plus seven. Okay, so we put in zero, zero what? Seven seconds. Seconds, zero seconds. And we got out seven what? Inches. Is that true? At zero seconds is the seven inches high? Uh-huh. Let's try another one like uh, two. Let's try two. So with two times two plus seven. And we get four inches plus seven. 11. So it's at 11. Do you agree that would it be at 11 inches high after a couple seconds? Okay. After two. Here we go. What did I say? After two seconds. After two seconds? What did I say? After a couple seconds. Six. What's a couple? Two. two. Three. Here's one of my pet peeves. A couple. Two. 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 Couple. Oh, yeah. Like couple. Two. If you're a part of a couple, you're not a part of a three people. You're That's a part a few, of a few, right? A few, mine. A few, yeah. You're vague. A couple has very specific people. Anyway, a couple seconds is two seconds exactly, no more, no less. 
always two, mm -hmm. couple is two, two times two is four, so it increases, it increases a total of four inches from the original seven, so it's at, at 11 inches, right? So we plug in two seconds, we get 11 inches as the height, right? Okay, the next one is for each of you individually. See if you can recreate what Kate is in with this next example. What do you got? Y equals three x plus five. Who agrees with what Robert's down there? Okay, it sounds like a lot of people agree. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, agree as well. Because let's let's think about what's going to happen here. We're going to get three inches per second times x. What is x measured in? Seconds, number of seconds plus five. Five what? Inches. 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 Right. We start at five inches. You can think of that as the beginning point. It starts at five inches and then adds, right? Just adds on from there. We just get more and more height after uh, the very beginning. So if I plug in one second or two seconds or three seconds, that's going to multiply by the three inches that I gain every second and tell me how much to add on to the five inches we started with. Okay? Last one of, of this kind of the kind of nice numbers. Okay, let's write this down in our notes. And then it won't take very long. Brandon? Uh, y equals 5x plus 3.5 inches. Doesn't it have this? Minus? Oh, no. Maybe if we write it in this order, those will be the exact same thing. Right? Think of it as we start at 3.5 inches. Right? Does it go up from there? Uh huh. Does it go down? Goes up. It goes up, right? We fill it with water, the height goes up. So it goes up, it gets bigger, it increases by how much? Five inches. Right? Every second. So five times the number of seconds. If it's going for one second, it goes up five inches. It goes for two seconds, it goes up ten inches. Three seconds, it goes up 15 inches. You now that's added to the original 3.5 inches. Let's jump back a couple here. Let's look at the graph. Okay, so this right here, this is the origin. Zero, zero, zero seconds, right? Zero seconds, zero inches. So it starts. Does it start out down here? Does the graph start out down here? Where does it start? Right at the bottom of the glass. Bottom of the glass, which is how high? Seven, seven, inches. seven inches. Seven inches, right? It starts right there at seven inches. Okay, and it, there's a tick mark right there that's probably impossible for you guys to see, but there it is. Right. So, what's that? Yeah, I can see, I can see it. Oh, you can see it. Okay. Yep. What the one I made it easy to see. This one's probably pretty hard to see. Hard for me to see. Right here. Yeah. Exactly. Right there. Anyway, that let's say that that tick mark represents one second. Okay, so in one second, look at the scenario. In one second, what's going to happen to the water? It's going to go up yeah. two more, two more inches. Yes. Four right? inches. So one second goes by, and it increases by two inches. Now this is seven inches. We'll try to kind of make this to scale. So maybe that much, right? You can try to establish a pattern here. So another second goes by. Here's the, the second tick mark. Let's call that two seconds. What happens after that, that next second? What happens if in that one more second? Goes up two more. Okay, so it's going to go up, let's call that two more. Okay. In those two seconds, it's got up a total of four, sec uh, four inches, right? Every second it goes up two inches. Jackson? Why did it have to be higher than that? Because seven, I mean, seven, I mean, zero, and then one second it goes up two inches, then after two seconds. Oh, wait, then I. Got it? And then, yeah. Okay. Well, if this is seven and this goes up two, then that's going to be nine, right? And if it goes up two more, that'll be 11. And that's what we found when we plug two directly into the equation. Okay, let's go to second number three. That's one second later. One second later, what happens to the water? Goes up two, goes up two, goes up two inches. You start to see this pattern I'm 
trying to get you to see? Yep. Every time a second goes by, what happens? Over two inches. Okay, over one second and up two inches, over one second and up two inches, right? And all and all the way in between, like half an inch, like half a second goes by, it goes up one inch, right? So there's a point right there. And a quarter of a second goes by, it goes up a half an inch. Everything in between. So I could plot all those points when I'm done plotting all those points, what do I get? straight line comes from. It's that steady pattern of over one and up to over one and up to. Okay. So that slantiness, okay, we call the slope of the line. The line has a slope. The slope is a measure of just kind of how slanted the line is. Okay. When, we're, when we're talking about the actual water stuff, uh, we call that the rate of change. Okay. The rate that the height increases. Okay. There's lots of different rates. Miles per hour, meters per second, uh, dollars per day, dollars per year, inches per year, inches per second, whatever. Anything that is one thing per another is a rate. Okay. So when we talk about the water itself, like the actual physical object, it's a rate. It's a rate of change. When we graph it, and we look at that rate of change on the graph, it's called a slope. Rate of change, slope, okay? Essentially the same thing. The rate's talking about the object, the slope is talking about the line, okay? And this slope is two inches per one second. So it's a slope of two. This one it starts off at five inches, right? A second goes by. Oh, three inches. Very good. Goes up three inches, and that would be a backward path. Goes up three inches from there. Another second goes by, what happens? Three inches. Three more inches. Total of six inches, right? Increased on top of five <laughs> inches. Another second goes by. Another, okay, I lost you. Another three inches. Okay. And everything in between, and everything past that will follow that pattern. Okay, even if we go down to like a little tiny, right, or like this, it goes over one and up three. But if we just split it up into the tiniest little millisecond, okay, it will still be a ratio of one to three. Like one one thousandth of a second, it's going to go up three one thousandths of an inch. <coughs> so. The slope of this line is three inches per one second, okay. or on the graph, like three y's for one x. Okay, I'm putting. I'm trying to take you a little bit better. It's called scaffolding. I'm taking you from what you know to something you might not necessarily know. Right. So I'm adding on this little bit three y's for every one x. Okay. In in the physical world, we're talking about the actual water and the height that it has is three inches per second. The graph has a slope of three over one. This last guy, really quick, one second goes by after it starts at three and a half inches. One second goes by, and what happens? Goes at five inches. Goes at five inches. It's actually going to look maybe something like that. It's going to go at five inches. Right? It's at eight point five inches. One more second goes by, and what happens then? What's that? It goes up how much? Five inches. Five inches. It goes up five inches from there, and so on. Another second goes by, it goes up another five inches. And it looks like, from this drawing, that maybe it would start overflowing pretty quickly. So it's filling up really fast. So we're going over one. We're going up. Five. So for every five y's, we go over one x. So for every one x that we go over, we go up five y's. Now, let's say it starts at six inches and goes up at a rate of, now this rate is a little bit off. It's not four inches per second, it's four inches every three seconds. So can we write an equation that would tell us how high the water is after x seconds? Right? 
let's give that a try. That when I plug in a value for the time, right, x seconds later, it should tell me how high the water is. Uh, let's make this easy, okay? At zero seconds, how high will it be? Zero, six, zero, six, six, six inches. Right, six inches. Oh. Starts at six. It just goes up from there, right? Can anybody tell me its height at any other time? Yeah, I got it. Um, 0.75 for one second. It's already at six. How could it be at 0.75 at one Seven. second? Seven. No, 6.75 inches at one second. And how did you get that? Divided for four divided by three. You divided three by four. I divided four. Yes. Um, so four um, that would be eighteen. What would be eighteen? Uh, oh, uh, wait, why? When would it be eighteen? seconds? Yeah. Okay, after three seconds, uh, one, two, three seconds, who agrees it would be at 18 inches? How far does it go up and in three seconds? Four inches. Four inches. So, oh, yeah. well, it starts at six, and three seconds later, if it goes up four inches from there, where will it be? Twelve. Goes up four inches. One, two, three, four inches. It started at six, so it should be at ten. Ten. Not eighteen. Not twelve. Right. So three seconds later, it should be at ten inches because three seconds later it goes up four inches. Three seconds later, how high will it be? In three seconds, how high will it go? Four more inches. One, two, three, four inches. So it should be at 14. And three seconds later? It would be four more. 18. At 18. Okay, three seconds later? Four more. Four more. 22. 22. Okay, so that's how our function needs to work when we write it. When we plug in three, it should go up to 10. When we plug in six, it should go up to 14 and so on. How do you make that? work. How about this? Notice in all of these, see how the rate comes right down into our equation times x. The rate, 3 inches per second, comes right down into our equation times x. The rate of 2 inches per second, right down there in our equation, 2 times x. Okay, So, Let's try that with this new one. Four inches for every three seconds, four inches for every three seconds times seconds plus six. Let's, see. Let's try plugging in three seconds. Right after three seconds, how many inches should be added on? Six. No. Four, inches. four more inches, right? We should be at 10 inches. But what's four thirds times three over one? 12 over 3. Okay, what's 12 divided by 3? Four. 4. And remember, 3 divides 3, just leaves a 1, right? So that's 4. 4 plus 6? 10. 4 thirds x plus 6. Let's try 6 seconds. y equals 4 thirds times 6 seconds plus 6. What's 4 thirds times 6 over 1? 8 over 1. 8 over 1, or 3 divided 6, that leads to 2, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 6 is? 14. 14, just like it ought to be, right? 14 after 6 seconds. Okay, you give it a try. Give it another try. With this scenario starts out at, starts off at 4.25 inches, and every 5 seconds it goes up 6 inches. Got an equation I think would work. Carter? Um, Strawberry. Oh, it's mine. Jay Z? Okay, so 
divided y equals 6 over 5x plus 4 to 5. That makes a lot of sense. This is like the fifth one that we've done, right? They all have this plus 4.25 or plus 7 or plus 5 or however many inches it starts at, the starting point, right? So it starts here at zero seconds. If we don't let any time pass, it'll start at 4.25. Plug in zero for x starts at 4.25, okay? Then we start plugging in values for x, right? The easiest thing to do right now is to think about what happens in, well, what happens in one second? Two seconds? Three seconds? How many seconds would we like to go? Five seconds would make it easy, right? Because in five seconds, how many inches is it going to go up? Six inches. Just to move that second drawer down. From that right cabinet, second drawer down. Or maybe third. Try third. seconds later it should go up six inches right it starts at 4.25 right there five seconds later uh, let's call this a two seconds four seconds so this would be five seconds after five seconds it should go up how many more inches again six six more inches and put it somewhere up in there six more inches that should put us at uh, 10.25 inches right yep let's take a look if we plug Five seconds into the equation we just wrote. Yes. Then, uh, well, what's 6 fifths times 5 over 1? 30. Over five. 5. 30 over 5. What's 30 divided by 5? 6. six. six right? 5 divides 5. That leaves it 1. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 4.25. That's 10.25. Another five seconds go by, it goes up how many more inches? You start to get it, I think. Uh, you know, that's a total of 10 seconds. That's five seconds later. It goes up another six inches. And connecting in a nice straight line. That's a little bit of It's going to be y equals the rate of change, right? The rate of change times x plus 9, 9, and you can think of it as the starting point, starts out at 9. Okay. And every, how many seconds? Eight. Every 8 seconds, what happens? 3 inches go by. 3 inches up. So 8 inches go by, let's call this, or sorry, 8 seconds go by, let's call this 4 seconds, 8 seconds. 8 seconds go by, we go up another 3 inches, that'd be right about there. Eight more seconds go by, and what happens? Up three more inches, and on and on and on. Every time we move over in, in the seconds axis, right, in the seconds direction, eight seconds in the future, the height goes up three inches. Okay. So this over eight, up three is called our slope. Again, it's called the slope of our line. It's also the rate of change of the height, in this case. The rate of change of the height. So you'll notice that on the graph, it does before, hasn't really been formalized yet. We start out at nine inches, right? Which is something we've done before when we graphed lines, right? We plugged in at first, we plugged in what? Zero. Zero, right? We like to plug in zero, we get that number right there. That's where it starts off. Right? Then we like to move over how much in this case? We like to move to the right eight, right? So that when we plug in eight for x, k 
cancels that out, and we have three left over. We love three. We can also, instead of having to actually plug in that number for x, we can see that that rate of change translates to a slope where we just move over eight seconds and go up three inches. Over eight inches, up three. Like, no plugging in of numbers required. You see what I'm saying? Just using a nice little pattern there. Okay. So if we were to say, we had this equation y equals uh, 5 thirds x plus 2. Okay. We could graph that. This would be like a glass that starts off at how many inches? At 2 inches, right? It's 2 inches off of the table. It starts off at 2. That's the point zero 0.02. You know that becomes 0 for x, you get 2. Okay. And I know that 3 seconds later, what happens? It goes up 5 inches. Over 3 and up 5. I didn't even have to plug anything into the function. I didn't have to figure out what the y value was because I know that three seconds later, it'll be up five inches. So I can just go over three and up five, and I have another point. It's gonna be a line. Two points are enough for a line. There we go. We can throw it the other direction too. We've got the whole line for all eternity in both directions. Okay. Following that, what do we call this on the line? The slope. The slope, okay, the slope. The slope of the line is that we go to the right three and up five, the right three. Right three. Yes. All right. You try it. Now wait. Let's not do that yet. Let me give you this equation. Y equals five seven x plus four. Okay. Try me a quick graph of that function. Okay, so a reminder, like, because of uh, these last seven or eight uh, examples we've done, we are taking advantage of a pattern. We can see, we can plug in things for x, but we can follow a pattern and say that I know that this guy is going to start out at four, right? It's like a cup that's four inches off the table, right? Like four inches off the table, starts off at four inches. and. Okay, then I'm going to go over how many seconds? Seven seconds. Seven seconds later, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seconds later, what's going to happen? Go up five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five seconds. Seven seconds later, five inches are added to the height of the water. Now we have. Two points. Two points are enough for a line. Here's our line. There we go. more people like taking notes, paying attention, right? Just because we're not talking doesn't mean that as a class we're like moving forward. Right? Those people who are paying attention are taking notes. I'm seeing improvement. So we should all be like that. Uh, one more, one more little graph here. Just see. Uh, put negative there. before we've had negatives in front of the x before, okay? But if we make it, try and fit this situation of the container with water in it, what's going on with this container of water? It has a hole in it. Good, it has a hole in it. It is emptying of water. It is not filling up with water. As time goes by, the water's going down, right? It's got a hole in it. So, 
Well, that's zero seconds. How many inches is it? It's seven. seven. It starts at seven. It starts out filled up a little bit. Let's call that seven. It's a lot of space between zero and seven. Sure. And then how many seconds later? Four. Four seconds later. What happens? You lose three. You lose three. You lose three inches. So it goes down. Let's call this three inches. Three. Now how full is it? That full. How full is that? Four, four inches, right? It's got four inches of water in it. I have, I told you. It starts at seven. All right. It starts at seven, yes, and it goes down from there. It loses water. That's where the seven comes from. Don't forget about that. I mean, still keep in mind, if I plug in zero to this function, what am I going to get? I'm going to get seven. Right? That's why we start with seven. And if it's negative, it's going to be going down. Remember that we have this over this much, right, and up this much. And if that up is a negative number, actually up a negative amount means down, right? You go over that many seconds and up that many inches, <coughs> maybe down if that's what the situation calls for. Or if you go backwards in time four seconds and see the water level go up, right? If I go backwards in time four seconds, it goes up three inches. Very good class today. Thank you very much. Homework on the board. It's in a section of the book called point four. Have a good day, everybody. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day. We
So we can get started, the more time we can have. So we're kind of in class. I'll wait for you. You let me know by your silence that you're ready to get started and have as much time at the end of class as possible. <laughs> 